Hi Libra, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I am your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. So this video is exclusively for all you Libras out there and all you cross watchers um, for the time between today the 22nd of May um, to the 10th of June. This is just a general reading, okay? I'm also going to do a love reading for couples, uh, people dating and super singles and that's going to go out at some point this week so if you haven't already uh, please subscribe to Kiwi and Tarot and then you can see the update when it when that video is uploaded it'll be some point before Friday but I'm not sure when I get them finished um, and as well also you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook as well uh, I do daily um, readings there as well okay uh, and it's Kiwi and Tarot Okay, Libra, so let's have a look at the energies for you for the time between the 22nd of May to the 10th of June 2018. Okay, and the first card that we have is the Strength card. I seem to recall you had like the best reading ever uh, last time, and your card was your reading was just called Wow, Wow, Wow. So um, let's see how the energies continue for you. So, first of all, we've got the Strength card, then we've got the King of Swords, we have the Hanged Man. And we have the death card and this one wanted to come out as well which is the page of swords in fact that came out when I was shuffling as well that card it popped out for you when I was shuffling okay so um, I hope you can see all them okay and um, I hope that's okay for you okay that one wanted to come out as well and we've got the the seven of swords I'm gonna put it back in okay so first of all we've got the strength card okay now this is major icon of energy this is the stuff that we all want to see um, it's the um, there's 22 major arcanas um, in a, in the deck of 78. Okay, so there's not many of them, um, and this is when we have strength. You know, we've been through the ringer a little bit. Some of us, this is a this is very different energy to the one uh, energy that we had last um, the last time, Libra. Some of you have you you're coming into this month. Uh, this excuse me this next couple of weeks feeling good feeling strong um feeling confident but then we i go to the hanged man and this is a state of being in a in a situation where you've had to move away from a situation that was not serving you and you want to move towards something that would be better for you um but this is the moment in between the pause before we take that next step and um, for some of us there has been things that we've had to think about some home truths with the strength card here it, it's suggestive that this is truth about yourself this is things about you that you are learning and understanding for the first time things that you are becoming aware of you're seeing yourself reflected back at yourself you're seeing your behavior for really what it is um and there's no denying that maybe someone delivered some home truths to you or maybe and you know more likely because we've got the strength card here and what comes before the strength card is struggle you know what comes before the strength card is the devil energy uh, not numerically and um, just <laughs> you know just energetically in a way it's as if you've been through some challenging um, times really and I don't and maybe the challenging things that you went through and it doesn't have to be recent past it could have been years and years ago you know you went through challenging times when you were much much younger and um, you know in, in a completely different time you know when you were much younger or in a completely different relationship now you're married and you've got children and this is something that stuff that went goes way way back to when you were like teens or whatever whatever events that there were they led you to be strong but it's as if you're realizing that there was this you didn't recent events have made you realize that there's there was um some residual energy shall we say from negative past negative experiences and whether that's a said someone said something to you directly or you have realized these things because of the situations that have been going on in your life you are 
I'm going to spend some time actually now, you know, at this time around the 22nd of May, toward the end of May, this last week of May, you're going to spend some time trying to incorporate the positive strength and the positive clarity and the positive wisdom that you gained from suffering. You're going to try to incorporate that and move forward, okay? We've got the death card here. The death card's a wonderful energy because it's about transformation. Death isn't about an ending, it's about a completely new beginning. So what comes after death for me, not numerically, is the world card. A whole new world, a whole new way of being, a whole new way of seeing yourself, a whole new way of um, changing the beliefs that you've had of yourself for so long. You're going to see yourself in a whole new light now. And, it, you know, it could have been because of children, for example. You know, the pages represent children. So it could be that, you know, some, you know, some your child said something mean to you or, um, uh, or a stepchild or, you know, a younger person in your life, in your family. Um, and it was and it was that that caused you to um, to realize the impact of some of these past experiences and the impact that some of these past experiences have had have had on have continued to have as on you as you've grown older and you may not have attributed um a lot of things to that energy um in the past you may not have experienced um attributed some of your past experiences to some of your current behaviors you may not have seen the link um until recently but for some reason recently now uh, libra you're seeing that link um let's look at this strength card so we've got the queen of wands there so if this is how if this is how you're turning up i mean you're an earth sign libra you know um wands is fire energy um it could be related to leo actually because we've got obviously wands and we've got the strength card which is related to leo so unless you know maybe some of you are in a relationship with a leo or your mum's a leo um or your boss is a leo and You know, some someone has had an influence on your life now, on who you are now, on how you show up. And it's this Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands is not a negative energy. It's really not a negative energy. It's quite, I think it's inspiring. It's beautiful. It's attractive, you know. Maybe that's how you're feeling about yourself. Maybe you are feeling um, beautiful, attractive, strong, powerful, able to take action. And maybe that's something that you've not been able to feel for a long time. And maybe you didn't realise that you didn't feel, you haven't felt like this for a long time. I'll say that again. Maybe you hadn't realised that you haven't felt like this for a long time. Okay, so some of you um, are maybe gaining strength through finally seeing yourself um, in a really positive light. You know, you're really seeing yourself as capable. You're really starting to see yourself as strong and as and as confident and as able to do things and able to take action and you have not always felt like that and you realize now that you haven't always felt like that and there are things that have happened in the past that stopped you from feeling like this You can be confident, Libra. You should be confident, Libra. You should be. You know, this what we're seeing here is really, you know, we've got one, two, three major arcanas in the first five cards, you know. I mean, look at that. You know, it's showing a, a huge changes that are going on, huge transformations and, and huge amount of healing, gaining from reflecting on the things that have happened in the past, gaining by looking back at the things that have happened in the past. I'm just going to pull out some more cards because I feel it's important to... So yeah, it could have been, you know, a heartbreak, and um, you know, you could have been through a really difficult uh, relationship. You maybe had a difficult relationship with a father figure, someone who was, uh, or doesn't have to be a father, um, but you know, a father figure, someone older than you, someone who you looked up to, someone you respected, and that person broke your heart. It could have been a partner, an ex-partner. You know, you've you're gaining, you've gained strength now. Excuse me you've gained some you're strong now and you can be strong and the suffering that you 
experienced, even if it was at the hand, I don't know who it was at the hand of, but the suffering that you experienced, um, you realise, or you can realise, or you should realise, and you will begin to realise in these last couple of weeks of May and the beginning of June, that that has given you strength. That those things that have happened, the negative things, the things that hurt you, the things that hurt your heart, the things that damaged your self-esteem, the things that made you feel anxious, the things that made you feel inadequate, the things that you suffered through, you should try to see those from a different perspective because those are the things that can give you strength now. Those are the things that can give you confidence now. Okay? That's important. These two cards fell out, flew out. The star card all about healing and the queen of of, of swords you know we, we've got a, there's been some quite um you know it's difficult to say because it's 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 everybody it's all you libras out there some of you have, have have had have had some very challenging um relationships with other people whether they be your parents, your siblings, or a partner, and they are, th or an ex-partner, or your child, and they are things that have, have followed you around, if you will, they're things that you have really um, had to fight against to, or you felt over the years that you were fighting against those things to, to, to become the woman or the man that you are today. It's about seeing those experiences now, those things that were negative, maybe relationships that have been cutting and, and dispassionate um, with, you know, strong females in your past or, or you know, strong male, doesn't matter, people who were cutting with their words anyway, people who knew how to use them. You're being asked um, of the t between this time to see those experiences from a different perspective and to heal from those and you will and you should and you can you know that's what's for your healing really because this the star is all about healing and it's all about it's all about healing and it's all about things that are destined and fated you know things this is about our path the path that you've been on the path that you've already walked and recognizing that the path you have already walked, the experiences that you already have had, no matter how difficult, no matter how challenging, no matter how emotionally charged, those experiences you can heal from, you can be transformed from, and they should and will give you strength, and you should and will feel confident and capable and able and attractive and strong you've got every right to feel that way libra okay i'm just going to pull one more just to um, clarify this page of swords i don't know where this has come from this is quite this this energy is different this this energy relates to a lot of you actually but this is something this is something different okay this is someone specific and I, I, for some reason I have to talk about it um, and this was at the bottom for you specific person who I'm speaking to now or specific groups of, group of people that I'm speaking to now you some of you some specific person a very small small group are spying and looking around at, at at someone at people you're you're spending a lot of time on social media you know sharking as i call it that just means like looking around for, for for girls or for guys that you can date and you've got a lot of options but but it's not healthy it's not healthy it doesn't feel healthy it doesn't even feel like you enjoy it and you you know it's it's not healthy for you it's, and you know it's not healthy you know it's 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 negative and you know maybe you're being asked you people who are doing this which is separate from this energy you're being asked to to re to look at your behavior from another angle because and to maybe end this and they should be putting into that because and being straight with yourself because actually um 
you, the Libras I'm speaking to now, you, you know it's not healthy for you. I, you know, I'm going to pull another card, King of Wands. This is who's looking. This is ridiculous. This is who we're looking at here. We've got the King, Queen of Wands here and the King of Wands here. So some of you have actually been really dealing with a quite a difficult breakup, quite a difficult separation from someone that you feel very much is your soulmate, is your star, is your is the per, is your wish fulfillment. Some of you have been dealing with that energy, but what happened was you were in this relationship with this person and she or he was fabulous, gorgeous, beautiful, attractive, everything you'd want, really. And it might not have been long term as yet, but you know, they could it could have gone to that level. And what happened is instead of you being straight up and, and and um you know committed to this one person some of you a very small a small group of you a smaller group of you you were just sharking you were just out there looking at all your options looking at all that glitters isn't gold checking out all the insta models checking out everyone on facebook going on tinder going on match all that stuff that's what you've been doing and it wasn't healthy because for some reason you this now comes out this this card the king of wands which means that you are, are wanting to move out of this energy you're realizing that it's not it's not good it's not healthy for you you've not been happy doing it i, I don't know why you've done it to be honest i mean maybe you thought it'd make you feel good about yourself you know it never does you know i always say people cheat because they ain't happy with themselves it's got nothing to do with anybody else it doesn't have anything to do with the, per the person that you're with it doesn't have anything to do with your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your partner or whatever it's to do with you if you're cheating if you're going around doing this rubbish looking at all those other m girls out there or all those other guys out there or go going on other dates out there or sliding into the, d the dms out there when you've got a perfectly fabulous woman partner husband wife whoever it is if you're out there doing that going out sharking well you need to end that really you need to end that situation because you know you i'm telling you off actually I, I, i'm preaching i'm not even preaching i'm telling you stop being so silly stop it because it ain't helping you and it ain't going to help anyone else and if you've been hurt in the past that's what some of you are realizing you've been hurt in the past so because you've been hurt in the past you're now going to do that to someone else don't do that because you know how hard it was for you to get over it you know how hard it was for you to be treated um with such disrespect and with you know been manipulated and lied to you know how that felt so don't do that to somebody else please okay you know, this time you've been encouraged to go through healing anyway, all of you, all sides, all um, Libras, you're all being encouraged to go through healing, whether you're on this side and you're someone who was dealt with, uh, you know, in the past, in the long term past, in the distant past, you've dealt with, um, you know, difficult relationships, um, difficult family relationships, you know, traumatic situations when you were growing up or difficult love relationships in the distant past, but you've now moved on and you're now in a, in a different place it's about understanding that even though those things were difficult they have given you strength and they make you who you are today there's a, the other half here who have basically been you know sharking been stepping out behind the back of somebody that actually you should have a bit more respect for and or vice versa someone could be doing this to you uh libra um you apply it how how it stands how it sits um but when we've got this balanced energy of the king and queen of wands it's about that um the balance between our head and our hearts the balance between our passion and our logic and we have to you're being asked to to heal through some of the the, the, the negative energies that you've experienced in the past you're being asked to um, heal through some of the behaviours that you're drawn to that you know are not serving you that you know and feel are negative and a detriment to you you're being asked to um, reflect on that energy and that that behaviour and that attitude and to heal through that so this this next couple of weeks the energy is different some of you should be feeling all of you by the by the 8th, 10th of june to be fair should be feeling a lot more 
confident, a lot stronger, um, a lot, you should have your integrity back, you should feel like um, good about yourself and you should feel, you shouldn't be feeling guilty anymore, you shouldn't be feeling um, down on yourself and negative on yourself, give yourself time to transform, give yourself time to heal from some of the quite negative um, experiences that you've been through and if you are um, in a situation now where you are behaving with um, let's say not the best integrity Libra if you're in that situation now and you're behaving with you know not the best integrity and you feel bad about it and you know and feel that that's that's something that you should not be doing then the advice is the the energies are all about putting an end to that type of behavior and transforming into being someone who's clear who's truthful who's honest and who can realize why you've been drawn to that behavior so spend some time in reflection this this um next couple of weeks okay for those of you um who need it and spend some time healing through some of the negative things that have happened in our lives because they make us who we are all the things that happen to us in our lives make us who we are and we can't pick apart a, a bit of ourselves to hate okay um okay well thank you very much Libra I hope you really enjoyed that as I said I'm going to be posting another video exclusively for love um for June coming up so please subscribe if you haven't and if you want a personal reading if you need one and some of you clearly do then all the details are below okay I hope you enjoyed that Libra thank you so much enjoy the end of um May and June okay take care thank you bye